Welcome to the edition here for What's Up and About, a very interesting conversation that we're about to talk about. Yesterday, a lot of people were trapped on the roads. If you were heading to the airport, you perhaps maybe missed your flight. In fact, I got a couple of calls. Somebody asked me, Mazinu, are you on your bike? Did you ride today? Can you get me to the airport? I'm like, hey, baby, I come and get you to the airport. Oh, He's irene. Oh, God, when I call your car, you go to the best. You see? But that's just to tell you how frustrated people were because of the traffic situation caused by students who have uh, taken to the streets or took to the streets yesterday to protest the prolonged ASU strike. Should now, it be long it, since February? Since February. This is seven be, months now. This is the longest one. I don't think it's the longest one in, in the history of Nigerian uh, students. I'm not too sure. They, they, I'm not really sure. content with it. But the thing is this, and we're having this conversation. Titi was in the office the other day we were having I'm not sure if you were around, but this was what... <laughs> should I be quoting Titi? This was what was discussed generally, that Nigerian students have taken so long to actually act and perhaps maybe... Other references say that they are lazy. That in our time, maybe not yours, in our time, mm. we would have taken care of this. Is Only last we, week we, say, last week we just say, hold my beer, don't worry, the rest of the world, we got this. We, <laughs> we would have taken strikes, care of this. We, but we, we it had has really taken strikes. a long time. And would you say that it's uh, by virtue of the fact that the students have been complacent? I don't know. Do you think? You can't complacent? Say that. Yeah, I could say that. Do, must there be a protest for things to be done? Mm. We are talking about the educational system here. We are talking about the leaders of tomorrow. We are talking about, talking about the future of our young people, our young children. I, wh what? Don't look at me. This is what people said. I, I was talking about a general concept no, here. <laughs> no, I don't think that it has to get to the point of protest. Or I do not think it has to get to the point where our government is being called out before something is being done to address mm -hmm. a failure. This is a systemic failure so in the educational system that needs do they to have? be addressed. How it needs to be tended to. May maybe protest might not be the only tool, is, is my point. Are there other means by which they could have gotten the attention of the government? Well, there have has been meetings. There has been meetings back and forth. The um, 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 the head of the ASU has been meeting with them. They have called out um, Chris Ngige, mm -hmm. Minister of Labour, on it. The, the Minister of Education has been called mm -hmm. out on it. There has been meetings back and forth till they got to this point where they decided, you know what, since these meetings have been futile, Mm -hmm. Let's go on the streets. Mike, what do you, you think know, about you know, this? You now? know, yeah, uh, it, it, where, this is where I think they must have felt like, look, we have to do something. I, you, we've heard some reports from the federal government. From... Sorry, real quick. Let me just tell what they did. They actually blocked the roads to the airport. airport. That's what mm -hmm. caused all the traffic. Oh, Last yeah. week it was Lagos yeah. Ibadan Expressway. Express. So you were saying, Mike, sorry you about know, that. I, I, don't, I don't know if it was the president or who else came out to say that we've done all we can. There's nothing we can do again. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And this was two weeks last week. And when I read that headline, I was like, Phew. What a shame. What's, what's happening? Mm. You know, uh, while we're in school, I know that some schools had, uh, were autonomous. Mm. I know Unilag, Lorraine, I'm Lauren, yes. sure, a yeah. few of them. Mm. But I don't know if that's, I don't know what's happening now. Mm. No, those, I was at, I was at, I was in schools, Unilag over the weekend. It was I don't know. No, I'm not talking about now. I mean, okay. Back, back in the day, okay. You know, so when there was a general arsenal strike, these schools, had some level that they were autonomous, so they mm. would just go up and still continue yeah, they're with, their studies. with their own. But as it stands now, right, the thing now is that if the federal government says that we cannot do anything again, the ball is in Asus because we've given, we've done all that we can do, then you might not blame the students mm -hmm. for going as far as they want to go. Mm. Because you know what it means having, what, how many millions of students out? Out of school. Out of, out of school. school. Doing nothing. Seven. Where are the jobs? Even the ones that have graduated are still on the line in mm. the in the labor market. Now you are coming to bring mommy market to join How the labor market. How much of an effect, however, would this have when it's in this case it was just it's only been happening in the vicinity of Lagos State? There are no repl and I'm not calling for, this page does not support violence, by the way. <laughs> but I'm just saying that these efforts are perhaps maybe a bit too little to actually get the attention of the government. Of the government. Yeah. I do understand that if you stop the, the, the airport, especially the, 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 the Lagos airport from functioning, you are causing some economic damage. That, mm -hmm. yeah, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you block the, like back in the, in the, in the past, the Lagos Ibada Express, sorry, Lagos Badagri Expressway was a very big conduit for, mm -hmm. for, 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 yeah, for So what yeah. they would do is normally just, you know, peacefully stop just it. stop movement from mm -hmm, that road, mm -hmm. and it causes some attention. This doesn't seem to be happening. There are other options. There's industrial court, for instance. Not just that. 
If you're saying that there have been meetings and all, how many of these meetings have persistently gone on? Not very many. Once the government says, uh, we've done all we can, it, it sort of seems like there's a lag in the effort by the students. Is it only the students, or sorry, the government that the students should be beseeching or should be uh, uh, um, having meetings with or talking or trying to get... Yeah, yeah, talking about how about What about ASU? ASU? You get my point now. Hmm. So that's the reason the general, not mine, Please no, no, my. It's unfortunate that's, that's... that it's the masses that are the ones to be at the bronze at the end of the day because there are people who do this based on their own personal selfish interest. Mm -hmm. But who are the people behind the bronze? The masses. But then again, decision makers in, in Abuja, yeah. if they need to protest, I feel like they should take that protest to their But she's houses. not calling for an, a protest. I'm not calling for it. Uh. I'm only saying that blocking the airports, we are doing ourselves because if I'm going to the airports, I don't know, I'm not a exactly. decision maker, I'm not the government, so me, I'm just of, busy doing my own business. A lot, a lot of flights and, had to be cancelled yeah, yesterday because I mean, the airlines couldn't fly empty anyway. They were, you know, had uh, cases of passengers not uh, available and so all of that. I just jumped down. <laughs> he must stay safe. We are traveling to no, 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 no. the <laughs> When the stop is not far from the main tower, <laughs> yeah. just come down. I start walking I to the airport. To the airport. <laughs> the airport. Well, largely, it was peaceful, even if there was a yeah, blockade. Was, we thank God for was, that, and we yeah. hope that it doesn't escalate past that if there are e other events. And we are hoping that the government does something. Please, please I beg. It's please, about time. We are begging. Let those that are waiting for those that are waiting for those that are waiting for those to graduate, please. We graduate. <laughs> Right, we'll so take this time out now. It's not funny, funny actually. The show is just starting. <laughs>